Congratulations to my lady. Just hit 150 days straight meditation every morning, every night, no misses. What up, though? Welcome to Hate by Design. I'm Fashan Vega, and this is Tip Minute Tuesday, our segment where we explore tricks, tips, and hacks to enhance your quality of life by designing your tomorrow today with big ideas by my little person, Abby Lodi, my daughter. Today's tip is something near and dear to me, which is meditation. It's number four on the to-do list, but in my mind, in my life, it is the most important thing you can do on a, in the process of trying to achieve your goals, in a process of being better, in the process of self-discovery. Meditation is important because it teaches you how to be present, how to be self-aware, self-contained, self-governing. It helps you lean into insight. I know the last episode on dreaming I touched on insight. There is no insight without being self-aware, without having the calmness and the patience to sit still in traumatic and stressful situations and breathe deeply and see and think through the situation. Meditation reduces stress. It creates relaxing circumstances within the body and mind. It is a key component in people's healing process from trauma, physical and mental, psychological. Meditation is important because it sets the stage on how you will handle everything placed in front of you. So in life, we have defaults. If everything is good, things seem to go well. I handle things well. I'm happy. I'm Conditional. Our conditions is as long as everything is cool, I'll respond well. But when things go tricky, iffy, uncomfortable, when life gets uncomfortable, we often go to our default programming, training, which is usually not too conscious. is is not too is not in love. It's not beneficial to us. And meditation helps us create a new standard of living for ourselves. And that is pivotal and priceless. Um, so today we're going to go see my daughter and she's going to give us her tips on meditating. I think the first time, the first or second time you guys experienced her, one of her tips was to meditate and why it was important. Why I meditate daily. I meditate two times a day. When I wake up and before I go to sleep, I myself have meditated daily for years. And I think right now I'm like maybe at almost two years with, with no misses. But meditation for you will help you achieve goals, help you be a better person. You want to get more comfortable being around people, being, speaking, meditation is going to help with that. You want to network better, you want to build stronger relationships. Well, that is in the center of being a better networker or building better relationships is based on your ability to actually care, not speak, but care and listen. And meditation teaches you how to listen. It is a listening exercise. For people who pray, meditation is the listening side of prayer. Without meditation, people who pray are extremely selfish. And I know that might sting you a little bit, but you've probably never heard it like this. If we're having a conversation and I'm talking and every time it's your turn to talk, I'd rather do something else, I walk away or I start talking again, that's not a conversation. I'm just spitting information at you. And if I'm asking for things, it's extremely inconsiderate. Well, if you pray to something, the universe, the mother, father, the creator, Allah, God, whatever it is, if you pray to something and request for something and don't give the space to listen, I'm not even going to go into it, but you think about that. In the meditation process, we use a few tools to set the stage. So we use, I use incense to set the stage for aroma, aromatherapy to, to create the space that is conducive to entering the state of mind that I'll need to be in. I light a candle for symbolic representation of the light in which I am, that we are. I use a singing bowl, it kind of charges the air, charges the mind, snatches us into the moment. And I use prayer beads to chant because chanting is good because as we understand, repetition is important. I use crystals and I know a lot of people, I know a lot of you probably use crystals. Thing is about crystals, they don't do anything special like a lot of us might want to think. Crystals are amplifiers. That's what they do. They have principles in which they boost something. That's it. So a quartz crystal, for example, boosts everything. It doesn't have any healing properties. If you are sad, it's just going to 
produce or amplify that feeling. If you're happy, it's gonna amplify that feeling. Amethyst is one that I use regularly, the purple crystal. It helps increase and protect the mind. Thoughts, it creates clarity. It helps you stay focused. It's going to promote clear thinking. It doesn't create clear thinking. It's a difference. In prayer beads we use because chant as we do things in repetition, it sets the tone and vibration, the stage of energy lifting in our cell. Uh, and it also is good for our mind to say the same thing over and over again. So with that, if you meditate, please leave a comment in the description so the community could learn maybe something that they didn't hear here or uh, just see that there's other people out there meditating or trying it. If you've never meditated and you want to try it and if you're interested in it, leave a comment below and uh, I can point you towards some resources that can help. Hey, so we're with Avi. You know what time it is? Movie time. <laughs> oh, they didn't know that. It is movie time. Uh, what movie are you going to see? I don't know. Because I haven't told her yet. <laughs> are you excited? It was important for you to see Spider-Man, first of all, because it was a black superhero. And it's not too often that we will get to see ourselves celebrated like as heroes. I thought maybe you could relate to being a child, being a black child, and being a student. That she was cooler than the others. <laughs> Why'd you like that? Because she was a girl? Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. That was also a reason I wanted you to see that. This full movie is because I wanted you to see women being celebrated as being powerful. Because they are. And you are. And you will be. That's my job to make sure it happens, okay? Hey, my name is Avi, and today we're going to be talking about meditation, 4 Tip Minute Tuesday. I have four tips for today. The first one is to stay calm and relax. It helps you stay calm and relax. Number two, it helps you um, stay in control. Three, it helps you stay focused. And number four is you stay connected with the creator. You'll never get me. I will, but I will. 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 So you don't lose connection with the, um, the creator itself? Ooh. Optimism is the foundation of courage. So I'll be hit us with five tips today. Optimism is the foundation of courage. So quick recap, meditating is essential to achieving our goals, but more importantly than achieving our goals, it's pivotal to achieving inner peace so we can produce outer peace, so we can be present enough to be present enough in the now to create the reality that we desire to manifest what we want, what we thought about, what we've dreamed about, what we envision. To be able to handle life as it happens and be a part of life as it happens. Meditation is essential to our ability to live. Obvious tips for meditation for children are things I think even adults can grab on to, which is one, meditation helps you stay calm and relaxed. Two, meditating allows us to stay in control of our own energy. Three, meditating allows us and helps us to stay focused. And four, meditating helps us, those of us who acknowledge the creator, 
have a better relationship with God, with the Creator, with the Mother, Father, with the all, through communication, the listening side of prayer. She's nine. She'll be ten in two months. Let her tell it. I want you to take that with you. If any of these points affected you, or hit home with you, or made sense, or seemed interesting, please leave a comment below. Uh, please hit me up on Instagram if you need help. Comment down here if you need help. If you've been a long time practitioner of meditating, I'd love to hear your story. Share that down below. I'm pretty sure everybody would like to hear what you have to say and probably be inspired and learn a few things. With that said, it's looking about that time and I'd like to thank you for yours. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Fashan Vega. Instagram is where I post pictures of the one you suit and other things. And Twitter is where I ran about design, not so great design and things that I found to be marvelous. That's also where I engage often at. If I, I'm, I'm pretty fast about getting back to you guys on Instagram. So with that said, lead strong, be now, think great. And as always, define, design, repeat. Follow everybody on Decoy. That's Detroit conglomerate of YouTubers. They gonna put you up on game about everything Detroit. Peace.